So what exactly are interfaces? Um, the easiest way to look at it is to maybe look at it like a placeholder, right? So something that kind of like dictates how something needs to behave, uh, what it needs to be able to do uh, without actually getting into the concrete functionality. So an interface uh, that's different than an abstract class, it does not contain any kind of functionality. It just defines how a class must look like. Let's look at an example. Um, so let's assume we have the interface animal and uh, we say, okay, animal has get name as a method and it returns a string and it has get amount of legs and it returns an integer. Now, this by itself doesn't do anything, right? So uh, if, if we now imagine that we have two different kinds of classes, one is dog and one is eagle, and they both implement, look at the keyword, um, animal, that means that uh, they need to fulfill what um, your interface uh, dictates them to fulfill. In this case, it looks kind of repetitive, right? So, you, oop, and there's a typo here, so please ignore that. Um, so we have uh, the uh, function get name and uh, the and a get amount of legs. So both are methods that both implement. Now, um, in your IDE. Um, or even in, in, in better editors, um, they will now basically kind of like automatically do this for you. So if I were to type in, in PHP Storm, for example, uh, class doc implements animal, it would kind of ask me whether or not I want uh, the method stops to be created. So whether or not, you know, uh, it should just auto generate this for me and I simply, you know, put those two lines in here and I'm done with it. That's pretty practical, but that's not why we do it. Uh, what we do it now is, so if you have seen the other video about dependency injection, I want to basically know in an abstract way what a particular instance can do and cannot do and what can I rely on without necessarily having to uh, couple it and bind it to a particular class. So in this case, uh, we're dropping in, hey, uh, in our function print info, we want to print uh, the animal's name right for for whatever reason and I can now know that get animal exists and it's also autocompleted in my IDE because I know whatever animal I drop in here it fulfills having to have this method now um, it's important to understand that you cannot uh, have an instance of of an interface so you can I say new animal uh, that won't work um, so you have to create a new object and then drop it into your dependency um, unless you're using something like auto wiring. 